<laughs> Here, some simple rules. Some simple rules for equation. Solving equation, it may be verbal or simple equation. But solving equation, we should follow some of the rules. Some of the equation can be solved by using, by applying certain rules. Now see here, some of the rules is given here. Equation, rules number one given here. If A W plus B W equal A square minus B square, then W equal part. Now this is our equation. From this equation, we should find the value of W. Here now, uh, processly we shall apply. We should do here. Here A W plus B W equal A square minus B square. Now here W is taken or here. W is taken common from here. This both both. If W is taken common, if W is taken common, this is A plus B. W common comes here outside, and in bracket comes non-common part that is A plus B equal. Now this shall be expanded as per formula. Now A square minus B square. We know that our formula is A plus B and A minus B. This is expanded as per formula A algebraic formula a plus b a minus b now therefore now here w w equal a plus b a minus b this is as usual written here a plus b a minus b and upon a minus b it means here upper one is divided with this lower one lower one this a plus b comes in lower of this one so it becomes a plus b a minus b upon a plus b now here a plus b a plus B is similar, both is cancelled and the rest is A minus B only. Therefore, we can say that value of W is A minus B. Similarly, we can also say that uh, uh, rules number 2, here rules number 2 here given us, here rules number 2 given us here, if AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square, then Q equal what? Here this is also a uh, simple equation. From here, we have to find the value of Q. Now, now see here, processly. Here, AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square. Here, AQ minus BQ equal A square minus B square. Or here, Q is taken from common. Here, Q is taken common. So, it becomes Q in bracket A minus B. Q is outside and in bracket there is A minus B. Equal a plus b a minus b now this shall be expanded as per our algebraic formula our algebraic formula is here a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b now this therefore q equal q equal now this a plus b a minus b comes on upper and in lower comes this a minus b a minus b comes in lower now upper one is divided by this lower one now here a minus b a minus b is same similar so both is cancelled and comes here a plus b Therefore, we can say that value of Q is A plus B. In this way, we get the value of Q here, A plus B. And in beginning, we get the value of W as A minus B. And here, in second rules, we get the value of Q as A plus B. In this way, now, these rules shall be applied while solving any equation as we get. For 403 upon A. They are given us our question. Our question is the combined price of one pen and three copies is RS210. The combined price of three pen and five copies of same quality is RS430. What is the combined price of one pen and one copy? Find it. This is uh, our equation based problem, verbal. We can also say that this is verbal equation based question or equation based question. To solve this equation best problem, we have to make certain assumption something shall be assumed, or we can also consider or we suppose some things. Now here let here let the price of pen be x and the price of copy be y. Now here assumption is done as x is price of pen and y be the price of copy. Now Assuming these two things, we will work as per the condition or cases of the question. See here, first case. First case of our question say that price of one pen and three copies means x plus three y. Our pen is assumed as x, so one pen means x plus 
3 copies plus 3 copies is plus 3y x plus 3y equal 210 x plus 3y equal 210 now let it be equation 1 x plus 3y equal 210 let it be equation 1 here second condition second condition comes from second condition second case second condition from second case second condition say that 3x plus 5y equal 430 means here 3 pin and 5 copies here pin is assumed as x so 3 into x 3x and 5 copies 5 into y 5y five so 3x plus 5y equal 430 Whole price of simplicity is 430 430 now first case first equation comes from first case and second equation comes from second case now here two equation comes equation first and second on solving this equation first and second we will get the value of x and y here here given us to solve now solving equation 1 and 2 here solving equation 1 and 2 here first equation is our 3x plus 9y equal 630 it means equation 1 is multiplied here equation 1 gives here equation 1 here our equation 1 is x plus 3y equal 210 it means equation is multiplied with 3 equation 1 is multiplied with 3 3 x into 3 3 x plus 3 y plus 3 into 3 y comes 9 y equal now 210 multiplied with 3 it comes 630 it comes 630 so equation 1 is multiplied with 3 to solve equation we have to do this multiplication now our second equation is 3x plus 5y as usual 3x plus 5y 3x plus 5y equal 430 3x plus 5y 3x plus 5y equal 430 this is placed as usual but equation 1 is multiplied with 3 after multiplying with 3 equation 1 is placed here in the upper part and equation 2 is placed in the lower part which is not multiplied and anything now solving this both equation equation 1 and 2 let's see here now changing here sign of plus 3x as a minus 3x and plus 5y as minus 5y equal 430 minus minus 430 so 3x 3x cancelled and 9y minus 5y comes 4y 4y equal 200 here 430 is subtracted from 630 comes here 200 so 4y equal 200 now y equal 50 it means 4 is 200 is divided by 4 here 200 is divided by 4 therefore y equal 50 on getting the value of y we will get is the, on getting the value of y we will get the value of x by putting it in equation 1 or 2 here putting the value of y in equation 1 it becomes x plus 3 into y means 3 into 50 equal 210 or x plus 150 3 into 50 is 150 equal 210 or x equal 210 minus 150 therefore x equal 60 here getting the value of y and getting the value of x we will easily get the we can easily say that our required assumption the things for we assume the things we assume is obtained here here now the price of one pin and one copy here the, now the price of one pin and one copy equal x plus y as we assume in the beginning the pin, let the let x be the pin of price and y be the price of copy so price of one pin and one copy means x plus y x plus y equal here value of x is 60 to so 60 plus the value of y is 50 60 plus 50 equal 110 so the required price is rs 110 403 upon b 
given as if Ram gives one of the marbles what he possesses to Sita, then they will have equal number of marbles. If Sita gives one of the marbles from what she possesses to Ram, then Ram will have double of the marbles. What marbles with what Sita is left with? Find the number of marbles posed by its initially. Now this is problem based upon verbal equation. Equation this is now to solve this we should assume we should make some equation as per given condition, given situation, given cases of our question. Now see here, here let the marbles with ram equal x. Now let the marble with ram equal x and with sita equal y. Here our assumption is done. We assume as the marble number of marble with ram be x and number of marble with sita be y. Then as per first case, first situation of our question, it, it becomes as here one marbles give given. If one marble given means ram gives one marble, it means number of marble with ram is x x minus one x minus 1 equal they, are, they possess equal it means equal x minus 1 equal y plus 1 if ram gives now sita takes it means x minus 1 equal y plus 1 or here x minus y equal 2 here minus 1 comes this side comes plus 1 plus 1 2 and when changing side of y it becomes minus x minus y equal 2 let it be equation 1. Equation 1 comes from case 1. Similarly, in second case, second situation of question, say that x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1. Here, second given here, if sita gives 1 of the marble, it means sita marble is y, y minus 1, y minus 1. y minus 1 comes here, x plus 1. Sita gives, ram takes, it means y minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 y minus 1 is x plus 1 say so that we'll have ram will have double ram will have double to make this equal ram and sita equal here 2 shall be multiplied with sita now x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1 as per second condition second, second situation of the equation it becomes x plus 1 equal 2 into y minus 1 or to make now make this making this equation simple or x minus 2y here x minus 2y equal minus 3 we can also say that 2 into y 2y now 2y is subtracted from this 2x 2y subtracted from this x x minus 2y and 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so it becomes x minus 2y equal minus 3 x minus 2y equal minus 3 becomes its equation number 2. Here first equation gives us first equation and in second equation gives us second equation. Second condition gives second equation and first condition first case gives us our first equation. On solving this both equation, equation 1 and 2, we will get the value of term and theta or we can also say that value of x and y. Here solving 1 and 2 we get solving 1 and 2 we get here first equation is x minus y equal to here first equation is x minus y equal to and second equation is x minus 2y equal minus 3 x minus 2y equal minus 3 is our second equation on solving this both equation we get here sign changing changing sign here x minus minus x is as minus and minus 2y is a plus and minus 3 as a plus now plus minus x cancel and now here minus y plus 2y is y y equal 3 plus 2 5 here on getting value of y we can easily get the value of x putting the value of y in above equation equation 1 we can also put equation 1 or 2 anywhere as we like here x minus 5 equal to here value of y is 5 so x minus 5 equal to Therefore, x equal 2 plus 5 comes here, 2 plus 5, 
2 plus 5 equal 7. Here we get hello of y equal 5 and hello of x, x equal 7. Now, in the beginning, we assume that number of marble that Ram possess. Ram possess x number of marble. It means Ram possess x value of x is 7. So Ram possess 7 marbles. And also, Sita possess y y marbles. It means y equal 5. So Sita possess 5 marbles. In this way, we get required number of marble posed by Ram and Sita. Ram possesses seven marble. Ram has seven marble, and Sita has five marble. Once we easily get our required number. Here, question number four hundred two upon B. Here comes four hundred two upon B. Given if the numerator of a fraction is multiplied by four, and the denominator is reduced by two, the result is four. If the numerator of the fraction is increased by ten. And 2 is subtracted from the double of the denominator. The result is 5 upon 4. Find the fraction. Here also uh, given us our verbal equation based problem. To solve this problem, we have to assume certain thing. See here. Here, let x upon y be the required fraction. Our original fraction, our main fraction shall be x upon y. Where x is numerator of a fraction and y is denominator of our assumed fraction. So we have to work, we have to keep things as per our situation. Then as per our first condition, first situation of, of our question, say that if Numerator of our fraction is multiplied by 4. It means numerator of our fraction is x, x into 4. 4x, in 4x, 4x upon denominator is reduced by 2. It means our denominator is y, y minus 2. So it becomes 4x upon y minus 2. Equal, the result is 4. Equal, 4. 4 is our result. So this is as per our first condition of our question. We can also say that case first. First case, this is first case. First case is our 4x upon y minus 2 equal 4. Or on making this equation little bit simple or x upon y minus 2. Here upper this 4, 4 is cancelled. So it becomes x upon y minus 2 equal 1. Now here plus multiplication is done. Here x as as x x equal this one into y minus two x equal y minus two or x minus y equal minus two. Let it be equation one. Let it be equation one. Similarly, we will again make solution of our second condition. Now in second condition given in second condition given that we have x plus 10 given here if numerator is increased here numerator of a fraction is increased by 10 increased by 10 means addition is done x plus 10 x plus 10 and 2 is subtracted from the double of denominator double of denominator means 2y 2y minus 2 so our fraction becomes x plus 10 upon 2y minus 2 equal the result the result is 5 upon 4 here Equal 5.4. Now making here our equation simple. On plus multiplication. Plus multiplication is done here. Here 4 into x 4x plus 4 into 10 40. 4x plus 40 equal now 5 multiplied by 2y 10y minus 5 into 2 10 minus 10. Oh, this also becomes here 4x minus 10y. This side has been changed of 10y 4x minus 10y equal minus 10 minus 40 on changing side of 40 it becomes minus 10 minus 40 or here 2 is taken comma from here 2 is taken comma it becomes 2 bracket 2x minus 5y equal here minus 10 minus 40 it becomes minus 50 so 
therefore q x minus 5 y equal minus 25 here q divide 50 it means 50 is minus 50 is divided by 2 it becomes 25 so therefore our equation becomes q x minus 5 y equal minus 25 now let it be equation 2 from first case we got first equation and from second case we get our second condition on getting two equation we will find our required fraction on solving here to solve we have to make certain process certain things see here to solve our equation one and two here first equation one and two both equations can be solved to solve this both equation we have to multiply equation one by two this equation shall be multiplied by two on multiplying this equation by two it becomes 2x minus 5y 2x here yeah. now this here it equation equation equations move subtracting from equation two we get now our equation two is 2x minus 5y equal minus 25 your second equation is our 2x minus 5y equal minus 25 2x minus 5y is our second equation now subtracting from second equation we equal minus 25 now our first equation is x minus y equal minus 2 now it shall be multiplied with 2 so it becomes minus 2 2x minus 2y equal minus 4 on changing sign here 2x as a minus minus 2y as a plus and 4 as a plus now here 2x 2x cancelled now 5y plus 2y comes minus 3y equal minus 25 plus 4 is minus 21 here minus 3y equal minus 21 now therefore y equal 7 it means 21 is divided by minus 3 minus 21 is divided by minus 3 so it comes 7 now here getting the value of y getting the value of y y equals 7 we will easily get the value of x putting the value of y in equation 1 we get now to get value of x we shall put the value of y in equation 1 or we can also put value of y in equation 2 but it will be simple on putting value of y in equation 1 x minus 7 equal minus 2 x minus 7 equal minus 2 therefore x equal minus 2 plus 7 equal 5 therefore our x equal 5 and y equal 7 now putting the value of x and y in our required fraction in our original fraction required fraction comes here our required fraction is x upon y we assume in the beginning we assume in the beginning let the required fraction be x upon y same thing comes here required fraction is x upon y equal now x is replaced with this value of x value of x is 5 5 upon now y is replaced with the value of y y equals 7 so 5 upon 7 is our required fraction Related to upon a given us question number 402 upon a here given if 3 is added to the numerator 3 is added to the numerator of a fraction the value of the fraction becomes 1 when 3 is added to the denominator of the fraction the value of the fraction becomes 1 upon 4 what is the value of fraction find it this is also equation based verbal verbal equation based question now to solve this equation problem we have to assume certain things now here let the fraction be x upon y it means our original fraction find it is means find the value of fraction means now let the original fraction be x upon y here x is numerator and y is denominator in this fraction let the fraction be x upon y here x is denominator x is numerator and y is denominator upper one is numerator and lower one is denominator from the first case first situation first condition of question we can write here first case equal x plus 3 upon y equal y here given yes 3 is added to the numerator of fraction here numerator of a fraction is x then x plus 3 3 is added to numerator and x plus 3 x plus 3 upon y equal 1 it becomes fraction becomes 1 
so uh, denominator is y denominator is as usual no addition is done equal one now now make this tax uh, equation little bit simple or x plus 3 equal y into 1 y or x minus y equal minus 3 side has any change of y y changes its size comes in sign of comes as a minus y and 3 changes sides and becomes minus 3 so x minus y equal minus 3 let it be equation 1 similarly from second condition second case we can see here second case given in our question that x upon y plus 3 equal 1 upon 4 given here when 3 is added to the denominator of a fraction our fraction is x upon y and its denominator is y then y plus 3 3 is added to denominator here so y plus 3 equal the fraction becomes 1 upon 4 y plus 3 equal 1 upon 4 now this is also in form of equation now we have to make this equation simple or making here plus multiplication now x is multiplied with this lower one 4 and this lower one y plus 3 shall be multiplied with this upper one 1 it becomes 4 into x 4x equal y plus 3 as it is multiplied with this one 4x minus y here side changes on changing side of y it becomes minus so 4x minus y equal 3 let it be equation 2 in this form first case we get first equation and from second case we get second equation now on solving this first equation and second equation we will get, get the value of x and y here solving this both equation we will get the value of x and y here our first equation is x minus y equal minus 3 first equation and second equation is 4x minus y equal 3 this is the second equation on solving equation 1 and 2 then here first equation is x minus y equal minus 3 and 4x minus y equal 3 now to solve we have to change sign here 4x comes as a minus 4x and minus y as a plus y and my plus 3 as a minus 3 so here plus minus y is cancelled and comes here minus 3x equal now minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3x equal minus 6 therefore x equal 2 as minus 3 divide minus 6 on dividing 6 with 3 it comes 2 therefore x equal 2 now once we get the value of x we can easily get the value of y by putting in equation 1 or 2 putting the value of x equal 2 in 1 we get x minus y equal 3 minus 3 x minus y equal minus 3 is our first equation putting the value of x in first equation here in place of x we shall place 2 2 minus y equal minus 3 therefore y equal now 3 plus 2 5 so y equal 5 now here we get value of x x equal to and value of y y equal 5 on getting the value of x and y we will easily now we will after putting the value of x and y in our original equation our original equation is x upon y so our original fraction our original fraction is x upon y on putting the value of x and y in our original fraction we will get the, our required fraction so our required fraction becomes as x on the no, x as a non numerator so it comes on upper part 2 2 upon 5 5 is our denominator as a y so our original fraction required fraction is 2 upon 5 